do 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 Hi, I'm Jennifer Lyle. Hi, I'm Dr. JJ. And welcome to Vitamin Junkies, where we're addicted to good health. Today, we're going to be talking about lower back pain, a common issue that lots of people face. Mm -hmm. And one thing that people can do to help with that is by taking... Supplements, something such as a fish oil. I take this on a regular basis for joint pain, a eh, number of joint complaints. Anyway, this one's kind of neat, this little fish oil here, it's kind of enteric coated. So when you eat it, it actually goes through your stomach, it doesn't get uh, broken down until it gets into your intestines. So you're less likely to get that little uh, nasty fish, uh, you know, burpees, burpees. So anyway, fish oil, low back pain, good, little. Very good, mm -hmm. because I have experienced that with one of the other the repeat. that I've, yes, the repeat of it, so thank you for sharing that. I'm all about sharing. I'm all sharing. about sharing. I like sharing. We have a special guest with us today. Who's in blue? Hey! <laughs> From blue blue day. Day. Uh, this is Laura Deason House, uh, the great Laura Deason House. Uh, she's a physiotherapist and an osteopathic practitioner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's going to be giving us uh, her feedback on, uh, on uh, what she thinks of low back pain. What do you think of low back pain? What are your thoughts on it? I Tell think me. it's a problem, <laughs> very common problem. Are you pro or against low back pain? I don't know, I'm on the fence, you know. Really? But, uh, mm. but, um, I can you want cause low back pain too. <laughs> but can, <laughs> indecision, issues about your life stability, yeah. Mm. But I don't counsel people on low back pain. Um, but, but there is an osteopathic and a physiotherapeutic view of low back pain, which is that it can actually have many different causes. So as an osteopathic practitioner, what we are concerned about really is looking at things perhaps that have led up to the final incident of low back pain. For example, if someone has a disc problem, we don't really view a herniated disc as, as um, the main root issue. It's sort of the manifestation of a, probably a series of problems that have occurred for the person. So they've probably gotten you know, stiffer and stiffer for many reasons. They've had different traumatic experiences. And then finally, you know, your body is compensated from one step to the other, and then it can't compensate anymore, and the disc kind of blows. That's one example of low back pain concerning a disc problem. But, um, but any, as an osteopathic practitioner, we're really concerned actually with also you know, we're, I just talked about looking at all the different layers, perhaps, related to the problem, but also, you know, when we evaluate someone, we're looking at their whole body. So we're not just going to evaluate their low back. We're going to look for problems elsewhere in the spine or in the hips or in the abdominal contents that may be shifted for some reason if they had a car accident, which can all lead to the back being pulled in a funny angle and then mm. resulting in low back To compensate yeah. for whatever other injury there mm. is. It's, for example, someone gets in a car accident and let's say they're the passenger of a car, they've got their seatbelt on, and they get hit, Replicate. and often, let's yeah. <laughs> we'll do the movement, <laughs> and what often happens is, for, you know, there's the whiplash part of it, but often because you've got the seatbelt, wherever it is, if it's crossing you on this way, sorry, so if you're like the driver, let's say the driver, then you can actually get torqued in such a way that you can get your whole upper abdomen sort of shifted over, and because mm. part of your upper abdominal contents are hung on ligaments that attach to your diaphragm and some of your ribs, it can pull on your ribs and your diaphragm, and you can end up with a stitch or pain in this area that doesn't seem to go away when you sort of do the usual low back exercises or... So really what you're saying is we should avoid car accidents. You're right. This mm -hmm. is all about prevention of motor vehicle <laughs> accidents. Just yeah. want to clarify that. Yeah. That's and you should wear your seatbelt. We're not saying not to wear the seatbelt. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that, absolutely. yeah definitely wear your seatbelt. <laughs> yes. yes. So what are some natural approaches then to treating the lower back pain? What would you... Well, first of all, there, of course, there's the hands-on manual techniques that osteopaths use, right? So ways of, you know, realigning structures, making sure that things that have gotten restricted or adhesed, you know, t like scarred over, are, are released or are stretched in the right position, uh, stretched into the right position. Um, it's also about rebalancing muscles. So around the joints of the spine, you know, we have all kinds of different muscles that work together, and we have to get them to work in sync. And partly you can do that, again, through manual techniques and also through exercises and perhaps that's more my physiotherapy side some osteopaths do prescribe exercises as well but you need a combination of, of that of the manual therapy to rebalance things and then exercises to reinforce that that's very true definitely yeah. exercise improves most most conditions yeah. well, I know what I was gonna say I was thinking about that with the whole back pain often I find you probably find that in practice too women I find a bit more prone to carrying purse always on the same yeah, side, and their right. shoulder goes well, and then that probably throws off their babies, back too at the yeah, same time. Babies. Right? No, babies they're is a big babies. one because yeah. often either how they're carrying the baby, or if they're lifting up, you know, young infants mm -hmm. all the time, or breastfeeding. So what often happens when when young mothers are when new mothers are breastfeeding 
if they, I mean, most, most monitors, of course, are shifting from side to side, right? They don't do that. But you have to, you know, they have to be sure that they're positioning themselves in a chair with pillows to make sure they're not always getting pulled over or even breastfeeding lying down. So there's definitely positional things that women do that can add to their, you know, certain kinds of back pain for mm. them. Yeah. Cool. No, but still love babies, though. We're not saying that. And do breastfeeding. Yeah. Yeah. And do breastfeeding. <laughs> We're pro breastfeeding. Especially yes. changing. Are there supplements? <laughs> I couldn't touch it. But <laughs> Are there going. supplements to focus for on? Back for For yeah. For oh, yeah, most muscle muscle yeah, yeah. So, so definitely fish oils? Yeah, the fish oils. Well, Laura would be treating from the outside in, and I'd be treating from the inside out. Mm -hmm. um, glucosamine sulfate, very good for supporting um, the, 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 the joint itself. Uh, MSM, uh, MSN or MSM, MSM, I always say the MSN thing, Microsoft. Uh, fish oils, magnesium, very good for back spasms, uh, hyaluronic acid, also some of the anti-inflammatories are very good, so bromelain, turmeric, all very good when you have acute back pain. In terms of prevention, probably more the glucosamine sulfate and the fish oil would be best. Yeah, definitely. But definitely for back pain, there's got to be a hands-on, uh, there's got to be a hands-on element to it, if not, you're, you know. You're not getting your treatment's not going to be as effective, so that's why you need someone like her, Laura Decenos. Very good. Well, thank you, Laura, so much for joining us today. Right. Thank you for having me. You're gonna clap. Standing ovation. Standing ovation. <laughs> Very good. We're already standing. We're already so. standing. So. So, <laughs> still, it's the thought that counts. So please log on to our website, www.vitaminjunkies.com, and that is where you'll find a link to find a practitioner where you can find an osteopath, naturopath, physiotherapist different people that can help you on your road to good health. And while you're there, please join the addiction and sign up for our weekly podcasts. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And continue the addiction to good health. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do.